I can't deny that girl is worth some magical master column. He seems less lonely and hasn't cried in weeks. There is still the danger of relapse. We must never forget that master column has been through a lot. Those weak legs, rheumatic fever, constant goals I nearly killed him and even a touch of time. And his breathing seems better. Hmm. I get quite tired telling you stories about India. Besides, I mustn't neglect the garden. Do I have a garden, Miss Mary? Not really garden. You wouldn't call it a garden. A piece of earth, that's all it is. My uncle said I might have it. When was that? A few months ago, before I went abroad. And what exactly is in this piece of earth? Only the things Dick and Sarah recommends. Good lad. <laughs> things are starting to grow. There are clusters of purple crocuses and gold ones. These are beginning to break out in the pearl. It is the season. And I plan on visiting this piece of earth soon. Now, now, Master Colin, I'm impressed by your results, but we mustn't rush things. Now, I'll return this evening. I must check on Ben Weatherstaff. Turns out his life wasn't as good as I thought. He might even have to go to the hospital. Keep up the medication, nurse. Yes, Doctor. Does Dr. Payton ever smile? <laughs> Is that a funny question? Uh, no, Miss, but that's what people first said about you when you came to Miss Oakley. Does Miss Mary ever smile? I suppose I have changed a great deal, but it's nothing to laugh about. You must come and visit me every day and tell me all about the garden. You're being silly. I have too many things to attend to. You Besides, I must visit Ben. You have to do as I say. Everybody does. That again. You're like a young Raja in India sitting on a silken pillow and always wanting his own way. Well, I won't give in to you this time. I won't stay. You will. I won't. You will. I won't. If you do not stay with me, I will work myself into a tantrum. You're so spoiled. How dare you speak to me like that? How dare you? I'm going to the garden and I'm leaving you here. If you go without me, I will scream and yell. See if I care. Besides, I can scream and yell louder than you can. You can't. I can't. You can't. I can't. No, you can't. Ah! There. How do you like it? Now what's going on in here? Things were going so well with you two. Hysterics again? My, my. I won't be ordered about my time. I'm his friend, not his servant. She's cruel, nurse. That's what she is. Cruel. So says the young Raja. Ow. What now? I felt the lump on my back. It's growing. You didn't feel a lump. You only want attention. And if you did feel a lump, it's only a hysterical lump. Hysteria makes lumps. There's nothing the matter with your back. There is. There is. Nurse, show me his back this minute. Uh, perhaps he won't let me. Go on, show her. She'll see that and apologize. There's not a single lump here. There's not a lump as big as a pit. Except for backbone lumps, and you've only got them because you're thin. I've had backbone lumps too. Don't be gone when I'm fatter. It'll be the same with you. I didn't know he thought he had a lump on his spine. His back is weak only because he won't exercise and spends most of his time in bed. I could have told him there was no lump. Do you think I could live to grow up? You probably will if you do what you are told and not give way to your temper. <coughs> Remember what the specialist from London said? Stay out a great deal of the fresh air. Mary? Yes, Raja? Now, now, Miss Mary, be nice. I'd like to be outside with you and Dick. Dick and Tom may be rocks, and the crows come to visit. Uh, plenty of time for that later. Master Colin must rest. I'll go to pillows. Mary, I was afraid you might give away our secret to Dr. Craven and the nurse. Never. It's our secret, Colin, and Dickens. Tell me some more about the garden. Well, it was left alone for so long that the roses have climbed and climbed and climbed until they hang in the branches and walls and creep over the ground. 